every year has been great. I mean, just watching the steady growth. I love when in an industry like this, where, which is so difficult, people don't think you're going to be able to accomplish things, and you do, and you continue to keep accomplishing things, and you keep getting doubted. That's what drives me. I think that drives Mike, and it drives the rest of us. We're not really supposed to do this. Calling all you sinners, the righteous and the true. My name is Mike Denny, and I am the president of MDM Recordings, and we are in the Basement World Headquarters. We were in the worst recession we have ever seen, and I decided to start this company. When Mike started the company 10 years ago, I thought he was crazy. I thought he was batshit crazy, because honestly, I didn't know, what does Mike know about running a label? And I thought, what does Mike know about country? My area of expertise was always in sales and marketing, and I was fortunate enough to work for the major labels, Sony Music Canada back in the day, uh, in a national sales role for kids' video and kids' audio, oddly enough, uh, which led me to Universal Music, where I was national sales manager for classical jazz and strategic marketing, <laughs> which led me to Fusion 3 Distribution, which was an independent distribution company and where I really learned my chops and how to potentially run a record, independent record company. I worked with Aaron Pritchett for a lot of years and, and we made a, a bunch of records together. And when we did the Big Wheel record, um, we were kind of looking for a diff different distribution partner to try to get to that next level. And so I met with Mike and honestly, Mike was the only guy that looked me in the eye the whole time that we chatted. We call each other our business partners because we all have a say in everything. Mostly because if they don't ask for my say, I'll give it anyways. So we kind of work like that. I worked at Country Music Television around the time that Mike started this label. You know, we had, there were a lot of people who would kind of show up with new labels and stuff. But this Mike Denny guy kept popping up, being delightful, always had ideas. You know, he's a, he's a bit of a character, right? Not in a, not in a bad way, but just he just became a character in all of our lives in the country music community. What if I don't you on, do you wrong, take you down the road again? What if I don't... Mitch called me in early 2009. He had parted ways with uh, Aaron and through a, a friend, mutual friend of his was sent some demo tapes of Chad Brownlee. We started working with Chad and getting that thing developed, and uh, that was a lot of fun in the early days. And it was at a really good time, I think, in country music, because there was kind of like the new breed coming up. You had guys like Chad and Tim Hicks and Dallas and, you know, a bunch of other artists. So it, it was kind of a good energy within the industry. When I think of MDM, I still uh, think of Chad first. That was such a... a Soul, solely focused operation to to break Chad. They had a, a you know a, a pot on each burner as it related to Chad. Everything was cooking for Chad. And I think at the time we were at a point in in country music when Chad came along that I'm going to say that the lane for male artists in country was pretty open at that point. So I think there was room for a new male protagonist, and that was Chad. One of the coolest things when we first got together with Chad Brownlee was that we all came from different areas. Mitch and I had worked with artists before that. Chad had the hockey background. Mike had the, the major label background. And we all kind of came together, um, I guess, which kind of leads me to the song um, Chad had out at that time called Hope, which was about the Phoenix Rising. We all came from a separate, a separate backgrounds, and somehow when we came together, there was hope. The Phoenix Rising And I remember Mike calling me and saying, I want to come over with Mitch. I've got somebody I want you to meet. And bringing Chad over, and we had a nice barbecue, and Chad started singing, and I just went, holy shit. Yeah. EMI always invested in people uh, who had great ideas for labels, and Mike was somebody that 
loved country music. We did not have an independent country label distributed through EMI. When he came in with Love Me or Leave Me, Mike came in with that track into the EMI offices and he played it for myself and the radio team. And it was one of those where everybody looked at each other and went, okay, it's time, let's go. And everybody got it. He was the, the flagship artist of the label. And to be completely honest and candid, he was a, a large part of the reason I signed with MDM. Chad Brownlee ended up on the radio. And Mike Denny, this small label, was on the radio um, with Acts from Warner and Universal and Universal South. And, and, you know, there they were vying for the same top 20 stuff. What we did with Chad over the course of four albums really put us on the map. 